This is a short instructional video illustrating how to report statistics in APA style using Word for the Macintosh operating system. To make the text as concise as possible, it is appropriate to insert symbols where you can use them. Rather than spelling out the Greek letter chi, C-H-I, click on Insert in the top menu and click on Symbol, then Symbol Browser. A separate media window opens, which contains Greek letters in the Symbols tab. Notice that the list begins with capital letters, alpha through omega. But statistical symbols are usually composed of lowercase letters. Choose the lowercase symbol for chi, which will be entered in the same format you are using. If the symbol does not automatically insert into the document, put your cursor into the document and click on the symbol again. And rather than typing out the word squared, type the number 2 in a superscript font. Subscripts and superscripts can be found in the Home tab within the Font box options. And they can also be set in the top menu by clicking Format and then Font. Because this is a test of a relationship between two variables, we must specify that it is a chi-squared test of independence, as opposed to a test of goodness of fit, which examines only one variable's distribution. Similarly, the word alpha can be replaced with the Greek letter, and the words equal to can be replaced by the mathematical operator. Math symbols are still words, so make sure to space around them as you would any other words. If more complex equations, such as reporting a regression model, is required, go to the top menu to click on Insert and Choose Equation. The Equation Tools tab will appear, which contains many helpful unique scripts, such as adding accents above letters to indicate they are estimations. The script tool is an alternative way to make a subscript, and it is especially helpful when you need to attach a subscript and a superscript to the same symbol, which we will see later in this video. You will notice that when using the equation editor, letters and other symbols are automatically spaced appropriately, so there is no need to manually type spaces. To report the results of a chi-squared test of independence, which measures the strength of a relationship between two categorical or nominal variables, begin by reporting the result in plain, understandable language. Make sure you are making deliberate comparisons by stating that one count or percentage was higher than, lower than, or similar to another count or percentage. After doing this, you can go back and add the appropriate statistics in parentheses after the words that describe them. Eventually, you will become used to the format, and you can type the statistics in text directly as you type out the sentence. Subscripts can be helpful for labeling statistics as belonging to certain groups, or as observed versus expected counts. After stating the observed results, i.e. the descriptive statistics, in plain language, add a statement about the statistical significance of the tests, which is the inferential statistics. If the result was not significant, use the words similar to rather than higher or lower than when reporting the descriptive statistics. Note that all statistical symbols that are English letters, such as N for the sample size or the p-value, are italicized, but Greek letters are not. After all statistical test symbols, you must report the degrees of freedom in parentheses after the symbol with no space between the actual symbol and the degrees of freedom. Chi-squared requires both the degrees of freedom and the sample size.
to measure the strength of a relationship between two ordinal or continuous numeric variables, such as interval and ratio measurements, use a Pearson correlation coefficient, or a Spearman coefficient if at least one variable is ordinal. If you report the Spearman statistic, add a subscript S to the R symbol. If you have one continuous variable and one categorical variable, you can calculate the mean of the continuous variable in each category or group. To compare only two means and reveal how different they are, use a t-test. Paired samples t-tests are used if the two groups are the same people, such as a pretest post post-test. But independent samples is used if they are two separate groups, such as men and women. Just like the chi-squared test, report the descriptive results in plain language first, adding the means and standard deviations in parentheses for emphasis. Then add a statement about whether the difference was significant. If it was not, remember to use the words similar to rather than higher or lower than. This does not need to be a separate sentence, but can be set off with commas in the same sentence. It is important to note that it is not possible to have a p-value equal to zero. If the output says it's zero, it just means that the value is so small that it rounds down, so merely indicate that p is less than 0 .001. Because p-values only occur between zero and one, you do not need to put a zero before the decimal place. It is important to calculate an effect size. SPSS does not include Cohen's D automatically, so you will have to calculate it by hand. The formula can be found in any of your statistics textbooks or on Wikipedia, pictured here. It is also important to report the confidence interval, which is an estimate of the possible range of difference between the true population means. If there are more than two groups to compare means, use an analysis of variance, abbreviated ANOVA. If there are more than two variables, this is called a factorial ANOVA. The F statistic has two separate degrees of freedom for each effect. The second one is always the degrees of freedom for the line labeled error in the output. The first degrees of freedom will appear in the line for that particular effect. Note that you must include the zero before the decimal place if it is possible to have a value greater than one. Report both main effects and the interaction effect, each of which will have its own F value, P value, and effect size which for an ANOVA is partial eta squared. Eta is a Greek letter that resembles a lowercase n. It has a superscript 2 to indicate it is squared and a subscript p to indicate partial. To accomplish this, insert an equation. The equation tool, called script, will include a box with both a sub and superscript, which you can select and then fill the boxes with the appropriate symbols. Symbols are automatically italicized in the equation editor, so make sure to unitalicize the Greek letter eta in the number 2 if it automatically italicizes those. Thanks for watching.